assuming you didn't hear the rocks there. It's a bit of a scary moment. Huh. Oh hey, Tom Walsh here, professional free skier for the North Face. I find myself spending more and more time in the backcountry, and while I'm no avalanche expert, along with taking a course and furthering your avalanche education, you can follow a few simple steps to help you and your friends stay safer in the backcountry. Now, those four main steps consist of prepare, plan, ride, and debrief. All four have their own unique set of steps. You're going to want to follow them to ensure better safety in the backcountry. To start, prepare. First things first, hit the books and continue avalanche education. It's more fun than it looks. Then, practice rescue. This is as fun as it looks. Find a partner and have them time you in a mock avalanche scenario. Find the signal, get the probe, shovel, and rescue Mr. Bear. High five to a job well done. Now that Mr. Bear is safe and in the comfort of his own home, we can move on to tracking yearly conditions and investigating trip options. Checking the avalanche reports and avalanche conditions is something you want to do as much as possible. Use what resources you have to find the best routes for you and your friends. Huh. Speaking of friends, pick some to go with you. Next step, plan. Assemble your group. Pick those who have experience in the backcountry, like this guy, and that girl, and that guy, and, well, maybe not him. Once your group is assembled, plan your route, anticipate hazards, and discuss an emergency plan. Step three, ride. Once at the trailhead, conduct a departure check. Make sure you have everything you need and always check beacon signals before departing. And just like that, we're off. Make sure you recognize avalanche terrain as you move through the backcountry. As you move closer to the zone you plan on skiing, check the snow. Look for any indications of a strong or weak snowpack. Remember, it's always okay to turn around if conditions are not stable. When all is good, Drop in. Step four, debrief. Once you're back at the trailhead, get together with your group and summarize the day's conditions. Review all the decisions you've made and talk about how you can improve your plans next time. That's all the steps, but remember, it all starts with prepare.